Come back to more children's Torah stories. Today, we are going to learn about how David and Jonathan made a secret plan to find out if it would be safe for David or not. Do you remember last time that King Shaul, since he got sick, has been getting crosser and crosser until he actually wants to put David in jail and he even tried and he sent the policeman to his home and Princess Michal, David's wife, helped him, helped him escape and put the teddy bear in the bed and David ran away to Shmuel and whenever people came to try and find him in Shmuel, Shmuel said, Hashem will talk to you and Hashem talked to them and they couldn't do anything. Well, King Shaul keeps saying, oh, I'm sorry for doing that. I realize that David is really good. I'm not going to be mean to him anymore. But then he keeps being mean to him again. So that is what David and Jonathan are trying to work out. And so David came after he'd run away and spent some time with Shmuel. David came back to meet with Jonathan. And he said, please tell me, Jonathan, why is your dad, King Shaul, trying to put me in jail? I didn't do anything wrong. What is it? Jonathan said, what? My dad wants to put you in jail? Impossible. I spoke to him already. And he promised me that he will now just be nice to you. Well, I understand that said David, but that isn't been what's happening. He has been trying to put me in jail. I thought he told me everything. I thought he didn't have any secrets from me. Don't know what to tell you, Jonathan, because he did try to put me in jail. Okay, okay, don't worry. You know what? I am going to go talk to my dad. I'm going to try and I'm going to try and help you. And I'm going to go to have a special lunch. You know, my dad has a special lunch for every Rosh Chodesh. Do you know when Rosh Chodesh is, Yeladim? Rosh Chodesh is the beginning of the month when the moon first comes in the sky. When you can see that little new moon, the first little bit of the moon. That is called Rosh Chodesh, the head of the month. So every Rosh Chodesh, King Shaul would have a special family lunch for the whole family. So Yonatan said, tomorrow is a Rosh Chodesh and this will be a good time. Yes, I've got an idea. Normally, I go to the Rosh Chodesh family lunch because after all, David is family. He's married to Princess Michal. But instead of going tomorrow, because I'm scared that if I go, maybe King Shaul will put me in jail. Instead of going tomorrow... I'm going to go and hide for three days. If your dad, King Shaul, asks where I am, please tell him David had to go back home to his dad, Yeshai, and his mom and his brothers to Beit Lechem, Bethlehem, to Beit Lechem. He had to go away for a few days for a special meal with his family. And then if King Shaul says, Oh, that's nice. I'll be happy to see him when he comes home. Then we will know that it's safe for me to come home. But if King Shaul says, What? How dare he go away? Then we will know that King Shaul still is cross with me and wants to put me in jail. Please, Yonatan, will you help me? And please tell me the truth. Please tell me if your dad really wants to hurt me or not. Don't tell me a lie. If your dad is really cross with me, don't come and say to me, Oh no, everything's fine. If he's really going to put me in jail, please will you tell me the truth about what will happen? Of course, David. Of course I will tell you the truth. You are my bestest, best friend. I will definitely not lie to you. Well, if your dad really is cross with me, how are you going to tell me? Because if you come out to meet with me and then your dad sees, we could both get in trouble. Ha ha! I have an idea. 
I am going to go speak to my dad like we said. If he says everything's fine, David's great, we're as happy as can be, then I will come right away and tell you because then there's no danger. There's nothing to worry about. But if he says, Err, David, I don't like David. Then I will find a special way to send you a secret message. Okay? But let's make a promise to one another that we will always be best as best friends no matter what. Okay, I promise. And they gave each other a big hug and shook hands to promise. Okay, well, this is the secret message. I'm going to come in a couple of days' time play to a place called the Ezel Stone. Ezel, Evan Ha Azel, the Ezel Stone. I'm going to go to the Ezel Stone. Then I'm going to shoot three arrows there. And I'm going to send my friend, my helper, to go and fetch those arrows. And I'll go, choo, choo, choo. And then my helper will come along. I'm going to fetch those arrows for you. And off he goes to go and fetch the arrows. If I say to him, I hey, come back, come back. The arrows are this side. That is a secret code to say, David, you come back. But if I say to him, go further away, the arrows are on that side. That means, David, you have to go further away. But I promise, our promise that we made, that we will be bestest best friends forever, Hashem will watch us and make sure that we keep that promise. Okay? Okay. Bye. See you soon, I hope. Thank you for your help. The next day, Aladdin was Rosh Chodesh. And they all came for lunch. And King Shaul was there. And Yonatan was there. And Princess Michal was there. And Princess Meirav was there. And there was even a man who we haven't met yet properly, but he's going to be very important. His name is Avner. He was not really an elephant, but I'm using the elephant puppet for Avner. Avner was the boss of King Shaul's army. So he was very important as the boss of King Shaul's army. Well, Avner was sitting there at the lunch and Yonatan and Michal and Meirav. But who was missing? There was an empty chair at the table because David wasn't there. Well, King Shaul looked around and he said, Hmm, I wonder why David isn't here. Maybe he has an important meeting. Well, tomorrow is also Rosh Chodesh, and we'll have another special family lunch tomorrow. I'll see if he comes to that. Well, the next day, there was Jonathan, there was a Princess Michal, there was Princess Meirav, there was Avner, but no David. And now... Shaul starts getting cross. Yonatan! Yonatan! Yes, Dad? Yonatan, why didn't Yeshai's son, he didn't even call him David, why didn't Yeshai's son come for lunch today or yesterday? Oh, he said he has to go to Beit Lechem, back to his family. And he said he's really sorry he couldn't come. But he told me he's going back to Beit Lechem, and that's why he's not here today. What? How dare he not come? You are a terrible boy. You are the worst son ever. And you are taking David's side against me. Don't you realize that David wants to be the king? And that he wants to stop you from being the king. He is our enemy. He is not our friend. Bring him to me so I can put him in jail. Whoa, guys. Do you think it's safe for David to come back? 
But you think he should stay away? Definitely he's got to stay away. Even Jonathan saying nice things about him. And Shaul starts saying, you're the worst son ever and all of that. And Shaul's saying, let's go put him in jail. But Jonathan said, but dad, I don't understand. What did he do wrong? You're so cross with him and you say he's trying to take over from us. But what did he actually do? And King Shaul took a spear. And he threw the spear at Jonathan. Can you believe that? He wanted to even hurt his own son. And in a way, we must be a bit cross with Shaul for being so bad to David and not even being so bad to Jonathan. But in a way, we must really feel sorry for Shaul because he's got the sickness and it just makes him get so angry and so cross. It's a real pity. Because remember, he used to be so good. And now he's like throwing a spear at his own son. And then Jonathan said, well, dad, if you're going to throw spears at me, I'm not staying at lunch anymore. And actually, Jonathan didn't eat that whole day because he felt sick. Do you know why he felt sick, Yeladim? Because he was worried about his best friend. What's going to happen to David if King Shaul, my dad, wants to put him in jail. Is he going to be okay? What's going to happen? And so, Yonatan was very worried. But remember his special agreement with David for the secret meeting. So off he went out into the field while David was hiding far away. Yonatan went out and he went out together with his friend. Where's his friend gone? And he went out together with his friend. We will use this one as his friend for now. And Jonathan said, okay, I'm going to shoot some arrows. Go find the arrows that I shoot. And he shot the arrow far, far, far. And he said, the arrows are further. Go away to get them. The arrows are further. Keep going, keep going. And he went and he got the arrows and he brought it back. And what did that mean, Yeladim? Does that mean that it's safe for David to come home? No. It means, I'm sorry, David. You're going to have to run away. You can't stay in your home anymore because King Shaul is going to put you in jail. So you need to go. And I'm really sorry. And then uh, Jonathan's, oh, here's Jonathan's friend. Then Jonathan's friend brought back the arrows and said, Bye, I'm going home now. Bye. And when they were the only ones left around, David came out and they started crying. (laughs) I am so sad. I'm going to have to leave my home and my wife, Princess Michal, and you, my best friend, I'm going to have to leave you. And wherever I go, I'm going to have to be scared of King Shaul coming after me with the army. No, I'm so sad because you're my best friend and you're going to be going far away. And I'm also so sad that my dad is being so mean to you. Well, I'm more sad. No, I'm more sad. No, I'm more sad. (laughs) Who do you think was really more sad, Yeladim? Thumbs up for David, thumbs down for Jonathan. Who do you think was really more sad, David or Jonathan? You are all right. David was sadder. David cried for even longer than Jonathan because he was leaving his home and going on the run. But they gave each other a big hug again. And Jonathan said, remember, we promised that we will be bestest best friends forever, no matter what. Yes, we will. And our children will be bestest, best friends forever. Yes, they will. Okay, bye. (laughs) And off they went. And now David had to work out where is he going to go? What is he going to do? He doesn't have any food. Where is he going to get food from? He doesn't have anywhere to live. Where is he going to live? He doesn't even have any weapons in case bad people come to fight with him. How's he going to fight? 
He says, ah, I have an idea. I will go to Hashem's special home at Nov. And I will ask the Kohen Gadol, that's the boss of Hashem's special home, called Achimelech. I will ask him to give me some food and some weapons, and then I will go find somewhere to stay. And if he wants to know why, I will tell him I'm coming on a mission for King Shaul. Well, yell at him. That is what David decided to do. He went along to Nov, and when he got to Nov, here he saw Achimelech, the Kohen Gadol. Hello, everyone. I am Achimelech, the wise Kohen Gadol. Achimelech, I am David. Yes, I know who you are. You are married to Princess Michal. Yes, that is right. Achimelech, please, can I have some bread and weapons? I'm on a secret mission for King Shaul. Do you know what Achimelech said, Jeladim? Do you think he said yes or no? Well, I will tell you next time. Bye.